Okay, so we are on the bus headed to Teo, Teo Wakan, and we got round trip tickets for 52 pesos each, which is only 104 pesos total. Uh, with exchange rate right now, that's about $5.50 US, and not too bad. Okay, so we are here in Teo Wakan, and we are gonna do some video and talk a little bit about the great pyramids that were built here. So this civilization actually built these pyramids in this massive city in between around 200 BC all the way through about 750 BC before the city was completely 100% uh, uh, abandoned. And throughout civilizations uh, here in Central Mexico, uh, other people have used it, but it's a huge mystery on the people who actually lived here before and built these. It's uh, very interesting stuff, but I highly recommend if you are in Mexico City at any point, this has to be a place that you come to. Number one. So here is the Pyramid of the Plumed Serpent. So this is uh, the smallest of the three you know, large pyramids here in the city. So one of the things that makes this pyramid a lot different, as you can see here, there's actually heads of uh, the serpents coming out. It's almost like a monster with, with fangs. Uh, if you guys get a chance to go to the Anthropology Museum while you're in Mexico City, definitely go in there and check out uh, you know, the room that's got all the stuff from Tio, uh, Tio, Tio in there because it has some really great stuff and you can see this a lot better. Uh, unfortunately, they got some of this stuff closed, but it's still pretty awesome. You're looking at 2,000 years of history. Number two. Wow. Holy crap. So I didn't even get, this is my second time here at the pyramids. I didn't even know this part of Teowakan was open. And you can see this. So this is right off side or off the side of the Avenue of the Dead. So this is a huge complex that has multiple levels. So most of the pyramids were all built upon each other um, into multiple levels. And this is some of the es excavation. They've already went down seven uh, different levels just in this one building. And there's around 80% of the city that still hasn't been discovered. This is amazing. What's amazing about this is just like ancient Rome, the entire city was painted. Uh, you know, we see these statues that are just, you know, cast white and we think that's how the Roman statues were in the day and the buildings were, and that's not true, they were actually painted. But here, uh, through excavation, this is actually, you know, has to be very close to either 1,500 to 2,000 year old paint that is still on these buildings. Whew. So last time I came here, I didn't get to spend a whole lot of time. And so we are only, can you see where we started back over here? Yeah, right over here. And I'm gonna show you this over here. We're only about halfway, if that, actually we're not even halfway, to make it all the way to the Pyramid of the Sun, or excuse me, Pyramid of the Moon. To give you an idea how big this place is, so currently we are on Plaza C of Avenida of the Dead. It's crazy how massive this place was.
Alright, so it's really sunny today. I don't know if you can see. Oh, there we, there we go. I can see the sun. So, another thing I love about Mexico. I got this sweet ass sombrero for a whopping 30 pesos, which is uh, about $1.75. Number three. Number four. Number five. Oh my God. Okay. So we are oh, about three quarters of the way up and I haven't been doing a lot of cardio lately. But I'm not breathing hard. Nothing. No, I'm not breathing that hard. Woo. All right, so here we are. We are at the top officially of Pyramid of the Sun. And so you can just see, you know, why these people decided to settle this region. I, I have not been to the Great Pyramids and I've uh, been to Egypt, but, you know, I can imagine that it's, you know, very similar. Except for a you know, massive desert here, you see, you know, just a very lush uh, valley, especially compared to northern Mexico. And it's just an incredible sight. So if you were anywhere in close to Mexico City and you do not come here, you are just absolutely cheating yourself. So anyway, thanks for the ride, guys, and have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching.